Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day in the markets. Thursday, August 25th. Uh, spy making crazy moves today. Sub up, like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. We have a Twitter you can follow us on at Happy Money YT. The Discord server link for those are in the description. I was wrong. Mimi is not getting its bounce. Um, yeah, I thought it'd have a bounce today and tomorrow. Might have a little one tomorrow, but this, yeah, this definitely isn't an SLD bounce uh, or move. And this isn't even a, a bounce, this isn't a bounce at all. I, th I figured we'd get one or the other, either SLD or just kind of a relief rally of sorts. Um, and this is, this is crazy. Yeah, this was, this was a pretty coordinated effort for it to drop. This is 30 something percent in like six days or something. Yeah, so 30% really with no relief. We had one one bounce day in here, but that was not even a bounce. It gapped way down. So, um, yeah, not sure if this is setting up for maybe a big upside move and, um, you know, sort of like we saw here. But, uh, yeah, I don't definitely lost money on options this week. Unless if tomorrow does go crazy. They're basically worthless now, so I just hold them. Hold them until they expire. Um, the divergences are off the table too. Remember, I said if we break this low, there's no more divergence there, and I was not expecting to break that low today, especially. Um, so maybe we'll get a Friday, Monday big moves. Not likely, but probably a little relief rally coming, anyways. Um, so this low is broken, and so this divergence is not a divergence. And on the hourly, this thing is so oversold. Uh, yeah. And look, just this little bump up and it popped out of oversold just because of how slow it's been grinding down here. That's awful. So that divergence is also off. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, spy today, kind of making big moves all over the place. Should have gotten those calls at close apparently. This thing squeezed in the morning, dumped. Bullard was talking at Jackson Hole. And then just chilling and then for whatever reason it's starting to squeeze into close. Um, China, China's basically given stimulus. I think that's pumping a lot of the Chinese stocks, uh, as well as they're agreeing to let, I think, US audit their companies or something. So that was bullish for them. Um, so they don't get delisted, I suppose. Uh, so Spy is still kind of setting up his head and shoulders. See what Pal has to say tomorrow. Uh, that's kind of the last data set we're waiting on until CPI, which is in September, a couple weeks from now. And yeah, we'll just see what range we're in. Kind of trading this choppy range at this point, but uh, TA wise, it looks like we're going to probably keep coming down after Powell. And our longest and highest bear market rally will have come to an end. We'll just see what he has to say. He's. If he's dovish at all, we could keep ripping. We definitely could until uh, until the elections, and then maybe have our have our crash. Jimmy, on the other hand, uh, it's I mean it's it's not it's underperforming the market by a long shot. This is part of the part of the surprise for me, just how awful it is doing in in uh, you know in the whole market. So. Uh, what I did notice too, though, is like the the volume, it's a little different now. So as I've been mentioning, the the grinds up have been slower, and then the the downs have been faster, kind of up into the split. Never since the split, so it's been a fast move down that we had up. And before, I'd kind of wait for the big volume, and then I'd get in and have its move. Uh, like you know, here volume started to come in, it had its move. So volume came in like here, and then it had its move. Volume came in here. Um, but now it's kind of a little different. Now it's kind of having these low volume grind ups. And this might not continue to be the case, but maybe it will be. I don't know if something to do with the characteristics of the split or the dividend that's not getting distributed. Uh, I don't know, but um, at any rate, we've had just this this last grind up, this last little pinch, which that's what I'm calling this now. This was our pinch. Uh, it was low volume. And then when we had our biggest volume day, instead of it blowing past that, that was actually the peak, the big volume today, or day. So on other runs, sometimes that is the biggest, but it's increasing volume up until there, but not on this day, not on that rally. Big volume was typically the sign, that's when you go long. 
And you can see the increasing volume and say, okay, let's go long. But it's not like big volume. At least this rally wasn't. Once we saw that big volume, that was the time to sell. <laughs> That's the time to close. And then the same thing happened here. We had the big volume and that was the peak. So um, if this does start to turn around and make a similar type pattern like this, there's a slow rebound and supply is just freaking squeezing into close here. I'm not playing calls or puts on it just because J-Pow. I don't, I don't know. If I were to do one, I'd do puts though. This, this thing's freaking wild. <laughs> oh, it's almost hitting 420 right now. Um, but it, but Jimmy probably, I mean, I'm assuming it'll find a bottom here somewhere. Today looked like it maybe was trying to. Just it kind of coming out of that, that range, getting this green candle. Golf and green candle or MACD still bullish. Looks like it might be setting up a little inverse head and shoulders. So something up here, maybe tomorrow. Um and then yeah, I I kind of flying blind. We're split, we're waiting on price action from the split that I'm hopeful that still happens. Uh you know, like Tesla and like Nvidia and these other ones that were shorted um so uh yeah still waiting on that of course there's anytime there can be news catalysts and bby also is kind of another wrench that's been thrown in here and there's news on that at the end of the month i'm not i think it'll be bullish but from their wording their news is just to strengthen their balance sheet so i don't i don't know if i don't know that might not be crazy good like crazy awesome news might just be uh pretty boring news really so uh that that being said though <laughs> the fdds the reg show the short interest uh the borrow fee on this uh i definitely think a run could still still come out of this even without a big announcement i'm hoping that our questions about rc's involvement will be answered at the announcement uh and if that's the case, then it will probably be big explosive news announcement. If it's kind of boring, then we probably won't know, have any insight onto RC, which will be a bit discouraging to me. Um, so we'll have to wait and see for that. But look at this rocket formation. Glorious. <laughs> um, that was the bell. Jimmy popping after hours. Our penny stock came down a bit today. And yeah, a little bit of consolidation after that rally. Kind of set up that little head and shoulders yesterday of sorts. Little bear flag, red under the nine, bearish MACD. Um, it did kind of find support though on this 55 cents area, which was old resistance kind of here the other day. So we'll see if it respects that. It very well could. Uh, anything down here, I think on this will probably be a good price. So, this, I mean, might have to wait on this one. We'll see. Volume was big the other day. We'll just see if it uh, if it makes a makes a good move. Um, Vulcan had a big move today. Phase had a big move. It's the highest on the borrow fee right now. Crazy high. And weed stocks. There was some weed news that came out. That had those rally. Um, I jumped into IPOs that are coming out tomorrow in the next couple days. I don't know why after HKD I didn't just start looking at Chinese IPOs, but um, I've done it before. I've bought pre-IPO, well, at IPO, but at the pricing, not once it's traded. Um, and I have access to it, so I'm not, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyways, I just looked through the ones I get here on Webull. It's a pretty simple process on Webull. And uh, yeah, I'd look to see if there's any Chinese ones coming up that I could get, and there weren't. Um, Jay-Z was one, but I, I was too late on that one, so. I'll watch that one to see how it how it reacts if we're still in kind of a Chinese IPO or Asian IPO frenzy. Uh, listing date for that one's tomorrow. So those those usually come out um, anywhere from like 11 to maybe one, two o'clock. Um, you could always trade it once it goes live too, but you know, sometimes these will gap up 100%, 200% before they're even traded. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, I got into so what I was looking for is basically small floats and ones that maybe could have some hype. Uh, didn't look a whole lot into them. Looking for foreign ones too. There's an Israeli one I got into. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, IP orders. So I got HPCO, BIAF, JFBR, MCLDP, and WLDS. So, playing with these, if, it, if it's a gap up, I'll try and make it free right after it starts trading, and then probably let it ride. If it's gap down, um, just kind of watch the volume a bit and see if, if the whole float gets traded in the first, you know, hour or so. Um, then I'll probably be a little more bullish and be willing to hold it longer. Um, but just kind of getting out of these probably pretty quickly. Um, at least making them free, hopefully on the first day, if they do uh, if they do well. So basically I was able to get, I just put two grand into all these and uh, and then it, it says here kind of what they're, what you're gonna get uh, as far as pricing. So WLDS uh, between 520 and 720, it's kind of a big spread on there, but I'll get a price somewhere in there and then <clears throat> ML, MCLDP, I don't know why there's two of them on here now. That's $25. So um, I put orders in for that. JFBR, Jeff Brands, that's 520 and 720 again. So basically you just look at uh, available. So I would apply right here, you can click apply and then uh, accept a disclosure or whatever and then allocate however much money you want um and then actually on here it's kind of cool they have uh, where was it filed listed so they have like historical data on them so here's starbucks here's one i bought in after it ipo'd and kind of says the first day percentage what it closed at uh since ipo where it's at and all this stuff so this thing closed up 285 percent from when it ipo'd this was an asian one though again same with gct if you guys heard about that one um yeah, these, these Asian ones did well. Some of them closed down, but that doesn't mean they didn't gap up. So I looked through these and just tried to get a little feel. If IPOs are doing pretty well right now, um, you could maybe make some money on them. The four is the one, of course, you heard of. That one did really well. Treasure Gold, we played that one, but after it was listed, see, if I if I got an IPO, it was only $4 uh, for this one, if you bought in uh, IPO. So look at that. You know, and a lot of the ones, especially the Asian ones, did this. So this opened at four dollars, or no, it opened at seven dollars, came up, ran down to four fifty, and then gapped up to nineteen. So could have sold some here, could have just held through for the volatility if there's volume on it, and yeah, done something like that. So I've got some coming for tomorrow. Like, yeah. So none of them are are allotted yet. We'll see. I mean, it, it's potential. I won't get anything, but. I put my orders out basically. HPCO, BIAF, JFB, R, MCLDP, and WLDS. Uh, we'll see. Just kind of have have a little uh, IPO exposure while Jimmy is socking it to me. And I didn't do many trades today. It's, it's just kind of a choppy market. We need to really get some direction going to figure it out. Uh, stock split. Oh, for my my options why are these transferred I don't know what that's going on weird uh bought I liked into BRCC it had its breakout from its bull flag closed out of my Starbucks call debit spread so BRCC is really a liquid though so it's the options it, they moved up some and then it just kind of faded out today but the breakout was beautiful on some nice volume too so I'm hoping this one will continue to run the next next couple weeks Look on the daily a nice bull flag and then today it broke out and kind of settled back down uh built some got some volume on it too so basically just added to that one i had 10 calls and i just got some 12 calls these are for september aprons doing all right today weber those plays are doing okay data dogs coming back up rocket had news of insider buying my macy's calls are wrecked and bbby short calls of course are doing well um, here's my HSDT shares. They're down 13%. Okay, I, have, I have Weber shares in here too. And then, of course, GME, GME position in here. And then I've got all these short puts on BBBY in here as well as my margin account. And uh, the IV crushing on BBBY is actually it's working well for these short puts. Even though BBY is not really up today at all. It's just kind of trading flat. And my options are even kind of in the money. The fact that the IV is just coming down, uh, my plays are increasing in value, well, decreasing in value, which is increasing my profits. 
Um, so it came up a little bit, but even today, this my plays were up some. And that's just because the IV is coming down, and when I sold it, it was high IV. So um, it's working out pretty well, even if it ends up being close to in the money by expiration. Uh, I will have captured a lot of the IV drop from 600 or... I guess I, I opened them up like 400 some percent. And they're probably... Yeah, they're now at like 300 now. 200 on the puts. And for this week... Yeah, 250. So, we'll see. GME's options are starting to get cheap. The IV's starting to come down on them. Um, double digits, I guess, from that close. Next week's are 87%, though. That's that's getting pretty low. Uh, if you do have capital, getting some longer-term stuff, it's uh, it just goes through IV swings. And when it's down in double digits, especially in the 80s, uh, on the weeklies, if it's below 100%, it's usually a pretty good just IV play. So J Hart was calling that out in Discord, and yeah, it's it's true. So we'll see if I can free up some capital uh, on the trading account, maybe. I don't know. I've got a lot tied in BBBY, so I'm trying to retain the rest of the capital. And that's what I got, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Discord. Peace out.